Hey everybody, um, I, so I posted a video on this before and uh, reading so much on the packs and deciding which one to get, actually it's pretty funny. I kept saying the wrong name of this pack, so I'm going to just run it again uh, and say the right name. So anyway, so this is the Maxpedition Grid Flux and I'm going to try to compare it to the Maxpedition Sitka. I've had the Grid Flux about 24 hours, so take with you what you will from that. Um, I'm still learning a lot about it. Um, so kind of a comparison on just picking up the loadout and taking it directly from the Sitka into the grid flux. Um, didn't, didn't work out quite as I expected. Um, I actually had, kind of have a small bundle of stuff that is still sitting around that I'm trying to figure out where it's going to go in the grid flux. The grid flux as total is a small, is a larger backpack, but it seems like I'm um, just getting used to it. That's not and nothing negative to say about it at all, really. Um, it's just a different loadout setup. So what I wanted to do is just kind of compare the two side by side. So uh, using a, someone as an iPad as a reference model, uh, stole my wife's iPad, um, go through the, kind of the pockets in those pieces. So the front pockets on the Sitka, um, the layout, is kind of you've got the, your sleeve here, you've got your external zipper here, and another internal sleeve here, your normal keychain. You've got a, a fairly nice sleeve here that I actually used to kind of keep tissues and everything in. And then you've got this front pocket. It's it's definitely a harder material, but you've got these loops. And I mentioned these specifically because I uh, I think I might miss them a little bit. Um, but uh, you know, pretty standard set out. We're all kind of used to the Seiko. Um, on the grid flux, you have the pocket on the inside, uh, which actually I, I've, I've learned to quite like over the past 24 hours. Like I said, 24 hours. Though. Um, you've got your slide in on this side, and then you've got these loops here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what to do with these. Uh, the purpose of the loops that I used there was for a multi-tool, uh, small flashlight and those things. It seems that when I put them here, uh, it seems to add a little bit of bulk to this, make it pop out a little more, but I'm sure I'll figure it out on how I'm going to lay it out. I think a lot of that has to do with this kind of rubberized material on the front instead of the pals webbing. It's um, it's going to keep its form. It's going to be a lot more rigid uh, than the pals webbing, which would allow it to fold a little more. Um, so uh, I think that's really what it's come, what's going on with it there. But anyway, um, so anyway, so like I said, you have the side pocket, you've got your normal keychain, you've got your front uh, zipper here. And then you've got your really soft kind of sunglasses uh, pocket up here. Um, this little netting back here, I have like uh, uh, some business cards that I keep in there and then like an old Vons card with some duct tape wrapped around it that I keep there so that way I always have some duct tape handy. So uh, pretty, you know, much the same pocket layout, some tweaks. Um, I like the tweaks. So um, I've been, so far I've been really happy with it. Uh, like I said, I'm 24 hours with the pack, so um, size-wise, you can see you could definitely fit a tablet in here. Um, you really might could have. I can fit my Android tablet in the Sitka, but definitely not an iPad in the Sitka. So um, going around to the outside of the Sitka, we had uh, this water bottle container, just really normal water bottle container. You've got the pals that you can also get that are just like this. It's just pretty much a dump pouch, that uh, nice size of an algae. The grid flux has this actually pretty cool zipper. It kept hitting this tab, which is actually nice because it stops the zipper from going down. But the pack opens up, this pouch opens up where you can put the bottle in there. You can unclip it so you can put an algae in there. Uh, water bottle just slides right in, really easy. It actually has a pull string on the back inside the pack that allows you to really kind of tighten up that water bottle. So pretty cool. I like that it folds down on the side of the pack, kind of changes the profile a little bit, which is pretty cool. I, I definitely dig that. So um, going to the back of the pouch, you've got your normal kind of water bladder CCW pouch on the Sitka. You've got a little bit of Velcro here. Um, on this guy, you've got uh, pretty much the same really soft felt material in here. Um, the opening seems a little smaller just because you actually have this nice cutout here. I used the coin purse to do the same thing on the Sitka, but this is great for a chapstick, um, you know, maybe some earbuds or something like that. 
Um, I've got it probably stuck a little too much in there, but it's just a nice little pocket that you can throw something that you need to get in quick. Um, I live in Vegas, 114 degrees yesterday, it's supposed to be I think 115 today, so chopsticks, you want to have that handy. You kind of have that same rubberized uh, webbing here. I did notice that um, like the PALS webbing on the Sitka, it's the normal loop that we're used to. Um, you know, you've got the speed clips or something like that. Really easy to, to lace it in. Uh, this one, not that I have a lot that I stick on it, but um, the speed clips were a little, they didn't quite go in as easily. But, you know, it, it's one of those one-time things, though. I mean, I'm not taking them on and off or anything like that, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, the big, big, big difference on these, you can tell on my Sitka, it's very worn, very loose. Um, the Sitka, when you wear it, had a very unflattering position where it would pretty much just cut straight across your chest. And that's really because there's, there's, this is just really soft padding. The padding shoved down there. Um, this guy is just really thick up here. I mean, this is really thick material. And when, it, when you're wearing it, it comes really deep down under kind of your pec and across so you don't really have that cut straight across your chest I'm 5'2 120 pounds um, but I know like a lot of buddy of mine who have the Sitka um, it definitely is not flat very flattering when it just cuts straight across your chest um, kind of like that seat belt right so uh, really happy with the change that there um, so okay so inside the Sitka you have a little bit of velcro here you have your two pouches mesh pouch here and you know your clip and then you have your two pockets here these are my two items that I'm just from these two pockets and I'm gonna to try to figure out what I can do here on the in the grid flux I used to use the a BDU wallet and then the med kit from Max Edition. it was practically made for this pouch right here um, but uh, I'll talk about that in just a second um, size wise on the Sitka you can of course slide a tablet in there um, never really could do it here. I never honestly use this for anything. Um, it's, I mean, you're right against the buckle. You're going to rub your tablet. You're going to scrape it up. Um, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't fit there. So that was on the Sitka. So back to this guy, you've got your, your mesh padding here. Um, I really like this. The, I, th I thought it was going to be like, I didn't think I was going to really care that much that going from the mesh to this kind of netting that's, you know, solid. Um, but I actually do a lot. Um, I have an eight-year-old daughter, so this pocket right here is, you know, a carabiner with hair ties and everything. You know, everything I need to do to get her into gymnastics or whatever class she's going to. Um, they used to poke through in those things, but actually it was kind of cool to have it so it didn't anymore. So the zipper, all of this is really soft felt that you can Velcro on. Um, you see, I just have some patches. I have this uh, 511 uh, hook and loop thing for the flashlight. Um, so, definitely very nice. Um, tablet with size, easily goes in there and zips right up. So this is where that extra, I think it's an inch and a half on width on the Sitka really kind of comes into play. Uh, you can definitely use that for you know, a document, um, a, a tablet, whatever it is you want to put in there. Um, then you have the, the larger compartment here, very easily. Uh, this has ended up, I think last night, after I kind of took everything out and put it back in, that's that's definitely where my multi-tool is going. Uh, it's actually a pretty good spot. You have this nice little pocket here. You have these loops up here. I live in Vegas, desert. You know, we get a couple of inches of rain a year. But the smaller... Um, Umbrella that we have, nice little flat one, slides right in there perfect, um, which is pretty cool. Um, this pocket is in lieu of the other two pockets that slide in the pouches. Um, I do like that this one zips up. Um, I'm just going to have to figure out how to transfer some of that stuff around. Um, not, not concerned with it at all. I'm thinking kind of two BDU wallets will, will have a nice slim profile there, and I'll be able to carry almost everything that I used to carry before. Um, and then the large compartment. I'm on travel next month or next week, so it, it's always a little difficult with the Sitka, um, just because I'm always kind of thinking, man, if I if it was just a little bigger, you know, I could probably get away with just not having a carry-on at all. So I might give that a try. 
I'll let you know if I do. But the larger compartment uh, easily fits, um, you know, a tablet, um, a laptop. I mean, this is sideways. I have a Dell 13 and even kind of an extremely old Dell that I had uh, laying around still fit in here quite well. So uh, definitely happy about that the setup here. Um, like I said, this rigid rubberized PALS webbing is going to keep that frame, I think, a little better than the Sitka did, but that also comes with a bit of a price. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a 5'2 guy. Um, I've owned the 511 bags and everything else, and, and honestly, they, a lot of them look like a turtle shell on me, uh, just because, like I said, I'm a really small frame guy. Uh, these I like because they're much thinner, but this one definitely uh, prints more on uh, kind of the width of the bag on my back. Uh, but I'm sure that's going to break down a lot um, as I use it more. It's going to collapse in a bit, but because that water bottle, all the way it's set up now on the one side, and because of this rubberized, I'm not expecting to a lot there. I forgot to mention, uh, this is definitely a very hard, you know, case here for sunglasses. Um, you have these loops laying about, which are actually pretty cool, because I used to, um, the one nice thing about the really loose Molly, I used to take a carabiner and clip my um, stuff to it. Um, can't do that really anymore, it just doesn't slide in as well. So, but uh, this loop's awesome for that. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I have noticed that the hook that used to be here, um, I do miss that. Uh, just mostly because I, I don't, I don't usually have use of both of my hands. Um, I use a wheelchair user as well as um, other walking aids, uh, forearm crutches and stuff. And I used to actually just clip a bag there, like if I went into the shop really fast. Um, so I kind of miss that, but you know, it's just workflow. I'll find another work place to kind of clip it in and maybe put like one of the D-rings there. So anyway, um, the, the clip on the front definitely have changed there. This nice little kind of push button piece to it. I, I really didn't think I was going to care that much about it, but um, really nice to just kind of just easily tap it and boom, it's out. Um, so really kind of like that. Like I said, I'm use a lot of forearm crutches and so kind of being able to just kind of clip that and swing the pouch directly in front of me and everything facing up you know so I can get to it it's just it makes my life so much easier um that's why I don't use a two-strap pack honestly because it's just really difficult for me to get stuff out of it on the fly so this pack um I was really nervous moving from the Sitka but I think as it the next major iteration of the Sitka and where Max Expedition is going um, I'm really digging it. So definitely uh, no no possible concerns of me returning this guy, just um, changing out my loadout. So anyway, hopefully this helps. Um, sorry, I posted, like I said, posted a video earlier and I called this uh, the different pack because I was going back and forth between the two. But anyway, hopefully this works out for you. Um, if I can answer any questions, please let me know. Uh, thanks, guys. Have a good one.